This guy that I didn't know who he was at the time and you know do what our agents do and did this to him. <laughs> He's the uh, chief technology officer, the first chief technology officer of the White House. He reports to Obama. Okay? And what's interesting that I learned from him is what's gone in his year is essentially um, we are very concerned about the immigration skill level, right? If you try to apply for residency in the US and you are an Indian citizen, even though you graduate from Harvard or MIT or one of the Ivy League, guess how long you have to wait to get your green card or your immigration PR? 10 years? Five. 70 years. Okay? If you're a Chinese citizen, 20 years. Okay? This is ridiculous, right? And, uh, and, and actually, when I was there, one of the singularity faculty, Vivek Wadwa, was testifying in the U.S. Congress like, uh, with the Texas Instrument, you know, and the American company. They say they cannot hire enough American graduates from PhD in this area. And, you know, what can they do about it, right? I mean, um, and they're saying that we don't understand why we are training the best brains of the world in our best universities and then sending them home to compete with us. And 70% of Texas Instrument uh, revenue comes from IP, intellectual property. So they said we may have to move out of the U.S. to survive. And this is the thing, right? So it's becoming so desperate now in America. I mean, and the reason for, for the 70 years is because America is this policy, right? If there are 260,000 green cards, or I think it's 130,000 green cards every year, uh, each country is allocated a percentage, 7.2%, uh, uh, I think. So obviously, the majority of the students in the U.S. universities are Chinese and Indians. Um, that's why, you know, the, 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 the restriction of the waiting list is so long. So what happened is, uh, in, in Silicon Valley, some of the venture funds that want to invest in these companies can't afford to do it. So what they do is actually they're building this thing called the Blue Sea, right? They're going to launch this platform, it's an incubator, set it 12 kilometers off the coast of California, and put all the uh, foreign um, students that they hire in here, and then there'll be ferries going to San Francisco. Um, you know, that's how desperate it was. In 12 kilometers off the coast of California, you're in international waters. So you're no longer in American soil. Uh, so it's, it's a bit desperate. Uh, this guy is Astro Teller. He is the chief technology officer of Google X. Okay, Google X is the one that's responsible for doing all the amazing stuff like Google Glass, the Google car, the cell navigation car, and so on. His name is actually Astro Teller. His his grandfather is uh, his well, one grandfather is Edward Teller, the father of the hydrogen bomb and the father and the founder of the Los Alamitos lab. And the other grandfather is a Nobel Prize winner in physics. What's interesting about him is that. It, you know, you guys watch Intern, right, at Google, the movie? Like, it's really hard to get a job at Google, right? It's like nine months process. When you get a job at Google, you would think that, you know, like, you got a great, great idea, right? You go to Astro and say, hey, you know, I want to work on this fantastic idea that I came up with. You know what he'll tell you at Google? He'll say, um, why don't you forget about it? We'll give you a six-month bonus. Just forget about it. I'm like, why do you hire the best brains in the world and then tell them to forget about the idea? See, because the point is, ideas are cheap. Implementing them are not. So if you're not passionate about your project, they don't want to fund it because they give you the fund to do it for six months and then you come back to them and say, oh, it doesn't work. Now you're wasting everybody's time and cost them a lot of money. So it's cheaper to pay you now and just ask you to forget it because he said, if you're really passionate about it, even when he said no, you will still do it anyway.